What is good, Grey Gang? We're here today. We have the two pool ponds, and we're going to be messing around with both of them. Now, as y'all know, the original plan was to let this one fill up with rainwater, then put the water over into that one, so, you know, we'll have new, fresh water in the old, empty pool pond. But then I was thinking, if we use the spillway system, like I talked about not too long ago, where we let the water flow out at this point, then we could intake rainwater, and it'll be perfectly fine. And so at that point, I was like, you know what? That's a really, that's like a really good idea. How about we do that for both of the pool ponds? And so that was the plan. I was going to move this pool pond out to here and then pump the water in. But then I realized, uh, this one's kind of in the way and it's really hard to move this in because it was full of water and it weighed literally like a ton. It weighed like 2,000 pounds. It was a lot of water, guys, and there ain't no way I'm going to move it by myself or with anybody or with about 10 guys. Still can't move it. It's a lot of water. So what I came out here last night and done, I tried my best, guys. I drained out all the water. I even got that thing and tried to bail out the water. It had like an inch of water in it. It was still extremely heavy. My plan was to get it here last night and move it and get it fixed so that the rain from last night, which was extreme, could, you know, just fill it up. But, um, Unfortunately, it rained and kind of wasted all that water for me. Couldn't collect. But that's no big deal at all. What I'm going to do right now, I'm all by myself, so this may be a task. I've got to drain out all this water, get the fish out, put them in here, rearrange both the pool ponds to where they're in the perfect position with rainwater access, and then we just got to wait for it to rain. Now, the sky is being really weird today. Shouldn't take very long for it to come raining. Like, literally, it's going to rain by the end of the day anyhow. It's, it's a pretty rainy day. Pretty rainy week, actually. So if I can go ahead, start using that pump right there and pump out this water, we'll be that much closer to, you know, our final game plan, I guess. Oh, gosh. Here we go. I'm going to use this right here to get as much water out of this pool as possible. There we go, there we go. Now all we gotta do is give it some time. I'm gonna put this right there so that it doesn't make a big erosion scene out here and you know, make a hole to chime. Meanwhile, while that is, you know, unfilling the pond, let's go over here and let's change out the turtle water because recently it's been kind of nasty. It's like really nasty lately. It's kind of, it's like, oh gosh, it's nasty guys. It is stinking nasty. But I can explain. Kinda. So we still have the two turtles. We have Timmy and Fidel. What we actually done after the turtle catching cooks was we put the turtle shell in here so that they could just eat all the meat off of it. And in the process, looks like a few other animals, including maggots, tried to, you know, eat the meat off of it. So, yeah. kind of nasty, but that's okay because we're actually going to change out the water right now. This is nasty looking pool pond, but that's okay because it's a turtle pond and turtles, well, turtles are pretty nasty animals. Let's just make sure not to lose any of the turtles. I actually think they both went under there. Yep, both the turtles are right there. The bigger one, Fidel, is actually under there. So I'm going to go spray this out with a water hose, and then we should be good to go. I'll clean it out, and then we'll go put water right back in there. Then get right back to doing what, what, whatever in the world the turtles are doing. Probably not much. Just a very basic... There we go. That should be good enough. Dump out that water, come right back over here, put new water in it, put the turtles back in it, and we are good to go. Oh gosh, it does stink bad though. Um, where did Timmy go? Here's Fidel. First we'll put Fidel back in there. Now we have to, Timmy, where are you going? Get over here, you little rascal. You little rascal, you. We'll give him the castle back. We'll give him this big rock. And to be completely honest, I think we'll go ahead and give them the turtle shell back. It's looking pretty cool, guys. I mean, let them eat all that, hide under it. That's fine for them. Now, let's just head over here and get this big bucket of water. This should fill up their pool pretty much. There you go, Timmy. Now back to this pool. A lot of the water is indeed draining out. Looking perfect. You can start seeing some of the backs of fish come out of the water. That's exactly where we need to be. Our next step needs to be getting all the live fish. Put them in here while we finish draining this pool pond. So that there may be difficult, but I think I can do it because why couldn't I? Most people don't know, but I'm actually Spider-Man. I'm just kidding. What the world, dude? There is no way that just happened to me. 
It did not. It just happened again. I am about to walk out. <laughs> that water just went in my boot. I'm not even going to try to lie to you guys. I've done been out here twice today, ruined two pair of socks from getting them so wet. So then I decided, hey, maybe I'll go get big rubber boots too, so, you know, my feet won't get wet. Then that happens. Water goes straight down my boot. I really don't know how to feel about it. I have soaked three socks today. That is not okay, guys. That is not okay. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and get the fish out. Come on now. Y'all don't have anywhere to go now. Don't even try to run. You can't go. You have nowhere to go. One more. One more and I got them all in the same net. Well, I got all of them but one. I don't know how good y'all can see that. I got most of them though. Probably about, I don't know, quite a few fish. For now, we're just going to dump them in here though. Let them all go right down in there. And they'll just play around in there until, you know, we get the pool ponds fixed up. I've still got to get this one, though. He's over there. He's playing a little villain. See him? I'm about to show him who's boss. I'll be right back. <laughs> Good news, guys. I got the minnow. It may or may not have included jumping in the pool pond and stepping on him. But he is alive, and I have some very bad news. The rain is already coming, and the pool pond is not being, it's not moved. That's not okay, guys. This is not okay. It's still too heavy for me to move on my own. It's, oh, snap, dude. The water's coming down. It's gonna fill it up faster than I can take it out. This ain't gonna work, man. This ain't gonna work. I've gotta pull out my super strength or something, just yank that sucker over. I'm gonna see what I can do. If it starts raining too much, we're just gonna have to call it a day, because I can't let the camera get wet. It's now or never. I've gotta yank that sucker over here. And I better start yanking it pretty quick, too. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Oh, come on. I'm kind of surprised at how much water had to get out of that thing for one person to be able to move it. Like, there's barely any water in here whatsoever, and it, it, I still had a hard time moving it. Like, it was tough, man. If we're going to be real about it, I still need to turn this thing around completely, but I guess we'll just pass and wait on another day for that. Now what we need to do is get this sucker out there and clean it. Right there, that's not going to be easy at all. After about 40 minutes of hard work and 90% humidity. I think we're getting somewhere, okay? We moved the old pool pond out here. We're about to clean that sucker out. It was a job all by myself, son, out here just, I don't know, I kinda just manhandled it. It also manhandled me a few times, but you see who won, don't you? You see who won. Now this pool pond is pretty nasty, so uh, give it as much as we can. take a while once i get done i'll let y'all know though looking good looking good i've done a little bit of work off camera just because you know it's hard to film right now by myself and do a lot of work at once but we got both pools set up right there in the perfect position guys i mean if there's anything i would ask for it'd been about six more inches right here but we got them turned to where all the tubes are running right through here perfectly they're both out here to where they can both get water from the rain i can just pull them out a little bit if they need more push them in if they need less but overall guys looking at this we are looking good now what we have is plenty of room back here to do whatever we want usually the pool pond was right here now it's pushed out to there <laughs> we have two pool ponds side by side this is the new one that's the old one. I cleaned this one out, so it's kind of clean. I mean, it's a little green on the edges. Now all we're going to do is wait for some rain, fill it up. That way we can put those fish that are in that barrel back in here. Honestly, guys, like I said earlier, it's going to rain today, so I can put those in there tomorrow. But while we're out here hanging, you know, just waiting for it to rain, head on over to kimmelgrade1.com slash shop and check out some merch, guys. Help support the channel. We got this shirt right here. This is one of my favorite t-shirts. It's a blue, has the blue camo. It's extremely soft, guys, like... It's a, it's, a, it's a material I've kind of never seen before, but I really like also, it. Also, we have the boonie hat right here. Go check it out. It's kind of humid out here, and I guess a hat really doesn't make it, really doesn't help in that environment. But I can tell you, whenever the sun comes out, this big old lid, it really helps. Yep. Shade your neck and eyes and stuff. And one more time, that is kindlegray1.com slash shop or first link in the description. Check it out and support the channel, guys. But as for now, I'm going to turn off the camera, and we're going to wait until tomorrow or until there's more rain.
Okay, guys, it's future Kennel jumping in. Uh, well, I filmed a little bit of segments with my GoPro, and somehow it got corrupted, so I'm just going to explain what happened. All right, so I got on there, I was like, hey, guys, it's the next day. I had some bad news. So remember earlier in the video how it was supposed to rain that evening? Well, the rain really didn't uh, match up my schedule, and it didn't rain. And then the next day, I looked in the barrel, and some of the fish weren't looking too good. We had a minter dead, and we had a bluegill swimming like this. So I decided to take all those fish and put them in the normal pond. But that's okay, because we're out here today, and we're going to try to catch two bluegill and some minter. And then, you know, I said some stuff like, look at my fanny pack. I got a piece of bread. And then I threw the piece of bread out there, and I called it a massive bluegill, and I was like, oh, man. I don't really want to keep this bluegill. He's almost too big. Wow. And then I threw him back and I caught another big bluegill. And I was like, oh man, he's just as big. Wow. And then I actually did get this clip. It didn't get corrupted. There he is. All right, we're keeping this guy no matter the size. I think he's bigger than both of them. Goodness, man. He is. He's bigger than both of them. We'll take him anyhow. We'll just put him in the pool pond. The GoPro's been acting really weird lately and just cutting off at random moments, so if something weird happens, that's why. And after that, I also explained that I went out and set a minnow trap, so here we go, checking the minnow trap. Okay, guys, my GoPro's being absolutely dumb right now. It will not record past 30 seconds, and now it won't even record. But we're going to go ahead and check the minnow trap anyhow. I believe we might have a minnow. Maybe. No minnows. Wow, this is sad. This is really sad. This is like really sad. Hmm. Well. I'll see you back at the house. So here's the pool ponds. They're finally set up and everything. Unfortunately, we don't have any fish to put in them. I mean, look at the water. We had about four inches in it. I figured that'd be enough for a few small bluegill and some minnows until, you know, it rained in about a week. And here in this one, got about the same amount of water. No fish in either one of them. Well, now we have no fish in our possession at all. I went and put those back. All we have is turtles. All we have is two snapping turtles. They're both under that shell. They're really small. I'll pull it up and I'll let you look at them. They don't bite me. Yeah, but they're both just under there chilling. Two small turtles chilling under a big turtle. And then there's actually one of the bluegills I got for them so that they can eat it. And, uh, yeah, they're eating it. Pretty good. We'll just set the shell right back on them. Let them do their thing. Honestly, guys, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I guess we'll wait until this thing, you know, fills all the way up before we put fish in them. But I want you guys to decide what goes in these two ponds. Last time we only had one, so we basically put everything in it. But now we have two. We can split it up. We can try new things. We can move them back and forth. I want to know what you guys want me to put in each of these ponds. So I'll tell you what, just go down in the comments. I rolled up my sleeve. I, I, I had a turtle pee on my arm, so I'm letting that dry. Don't ask, okay? Just don't ask. But, but go down in the comments and comment what you think should go in these each of the pool ponds. It is Saturday, and so we're about to do the verse of the week right here. Since some of you guys and I may be a little disappointed... We're going to do one with grief. Now, of course, because we didn't catch a bluegill, we're not that bad, but here's the verse anyhow. It's Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed spirits. So what's it saying is just how close God is to the ones who really need him. The people who are grieving a lot, the brokenhearted. When people need God the most, he's definitely close to you. Now, just because this verse said that he is close to them doesn't mean that he's not close to you if you're not in that situation. He's close to everybody, but if you're one of those people, don't worry about it a bit because he's extremely close and he knows exactly what's going on. But anyways, guys, we're staying in the chicken coop. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and I will see you sometime later. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, go hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. And if you don't mind, go check out kettlegrade1.com slash shop. Hashtag Jesus, hashtag Grade Game.